Jenum Hosgani Rugaba will kick off his two days tour of Tesosa region on Monday 14th, August 2023. Okay, and I want to call upon all of you to join the hands and we receive that visitor on Monday. Uh, going forward, this is the main ground, football ground for Teso sub-region. So we are glad that the ground has been now formally, uh, has been finally been uh, leveled and people can enjoy their favorite sport football. We have a series of activities here marked for general's visit in, uh, in, in, in Soroti and Teso sub-region. He will arrive on Monday at 10 a.m. Prior to this visit, ground preparations are almost at 95% completion. I want to confirm that general will be in Teso on 14th and 15th and part of the preparation it's here we have a game here for the MK tournament finals cup here in Teso. This tournament has been organized for all 198 sub-counties in the entire Teso. The competition started from the grassroots from the sub-counties. Now today as I speak we are having the semi-finals. The State Minister for Sports, Peter Ogwanga, has on Saturday, 12 August 2023, together with security operatives, inspected some of the grounds preparations. Also, it has brought business, because what is happening now in the city, there are no rooms. Are no rooms. People have taken, people have booked. People have booked all <laughs> hotels in Sorot City. So I want to thank the people, the investors, that uh, some people might not be happy, but uh, business is business. So the people of so who are coming from the far districts, you don't have to get a lodge. We have organized a lodge here. You can show them their lodge. We have earmarked that lodge for them, so they will stay here. We shall, it will be a trans night. We shall be over here over the night. In the morning, we shall have a motocross, a motor rally, and bike competition. Ogwang, who is stepping in as the MK movement, coordinator for Eastern Uganda, highlights some of the region's expectations ahead of Mohose's visit. Arrow boys, of course, we have those who lost their lives during our struggle. And I want to confirm, General was here, he fought among those boys. So the young people, the Arrow boys who are still alive, who are not integrated in the main force, have still requested that the families of those combatants who died are really suffering. Some of the injured, they might have got that treatment. They are really still suffering. Yesterday I was in Awoja. I met most of those Arab boys that day. had gone there to talk to people. But they came out and testified that the Arab boys' question still lingers among our people here. They need government to come out to support them. Another regional challenge where Muhoz's attention is needed is the persistent issue of cattle compensation for those affected by cattle wrestlers. One is the issue of compensation of the cows which we lost to our grand parents lost to the Karamojongs, issue of security, particularly me, who comes from the border. A few uncles of ours continue to pick our cows. In Soroti City and its outskirts, the anxiety to receive the Foster's General is painted almost everywhere. I want that, that, that vibe from now up to Virginia. Baraza hii natoka kwa nani? General Muhozi Emerukaba, chairman of the MK movement, tupike mkono. General Muhozi Kainerukaba, ika advisor ya muzei kwa special operations. Ye maanza hii kazi ya kutembia, kuona mvitu zetu, kuona na mna tunafanya. Tamajua kari wona. Mwina kumuwa nilizanga, mwina nebi gambi meo gena ntiwe ya koli juwakali. Waliku Awuja Bridge. General Mohos Kanilugaba upon arrival in Bukedea on Monday will address the general public in Kachumbara sub-county. Hold a similar event in Komi district and then preside over the climax of the MK movement Teso sub-region football tournament. Before holding a mega baraza on the next day, which is Tuesday 15th at Salute Sports Club Playgrounds. Robert Onyango, UBC News.